So I watched the weather today and it's predicted that next week a cold front is coming through. So mentally it has me in the mood to like bake. I've been like in a casserole, like one pan or one dish baked meal. So today, because I'm in the mood to just for cooler weather and you know baking, I'm gonna show you an easy way I like to make beef pot pie. It's so good. And maybe by the time I post this, the cold front will be here. So anyways, beef pot pie, my way, here we go. So this is about a little over two pounds of thinly sliced um, beef sirloin steaks. It's, it's basically the, the type of meat you'd use for Milanesa. And I cut it into cubes. You definitely can use ground beef, but I have this thing texturally. I like little cubes of beef instead of minced ground meat. That is my preference. This is two pounds. I'm also going to add, um, this is just one small onion that I diced, three cloves of garlic. This is a 12 ounce bag of frozen vegetables. By the time I use this, it's going to be semi frozen. I'm going to uh, season with granulated onion, a little bit of dried thyme, uh, granulated garlic salt, pepper. I also have um, cans of beef broth. I'll use, I'll start with two cans. This is like a half cup of all-purpose flour. I'm going to put this together. I'll also use canned biscuits. I don't have it here yet. It's in the fridge still, but it's gonna be good. So you'll want to preheat your pan. And you could season your meat in the bowl and mix it. I'm just gonna do it in the pan. Uh, I'm trying to make this just kind of as easy as possible, <laughs> but yeah. You could season your meat before you start to brown it in the pan. I'm just kind of going to skip that step. Let's get the oil. Okay, so it's going in my pan. Season with granulated onion powder. You could start with like a teaspoon or, yeah. You hear how the, the sizzle kind of got really low? I'm gonna crank up the heat. I really want this to brown well. Going in with my garlic salt, like a teaspoon. A little bit of my dried thyme. Here I have some cracked black pepper. And now I'm just going to saute and brown this really well. It's gonna take some time. I'm working with like two pounds of this beef and this is the largest Pan. I'm trying to do a one pan situation, so I'm going to cook everything in here and put it in the oven to bake. The meat's going to go through stages right now, as I have it at a high setting, but it releases its natural juices, so it kind of goes through this like boiling stage. You want to keep going. You want all its natural juices to evaporate, and then you'll start to get that browning and sizzling and um, just good color when you brown meat. So keep going. This is not, this is not browned yet. Okay. As you can see, it's really starting to saute here. The natural juices have evaporated, have concentrated. Now I'm left with just the fat in the pan. So I'm going to start sauteing the onions along with the beef and just keep going. Okay, so my beef and onions are sauteed well at this point. I'm going to add my garlic. Give that a quick saute. You don't want your garlic to burn, but check this out. You can start seeing the onion and beef have great color on them, and that's what you want to achieve. Okay, let's add the flour. This is a half cup of all-purpose flour going in. And I'm just going to shake it evenly all over the beef. And with the rendered fat at the bottom of the pan, this is going to create a roux. And you want to cook this, coat the beef, cook it until you get a crust on the bottom. It's going to take a minute or so, maybe like two minutes or so. And I'm just going to mix that in and combine it. But you see all that fond on the side of the pan? 
That is going to give the gravy to this beef pot pie, depth of flavor and color. So that's why it's important that you truly brown the meat and saute it very well. Now it's time to add the beef broth. I'm going to work this in slowly. I added about a cup and a half to two cups at first, and I want to start scraping the fond off the side of the pan. As you can see, it has thickened already, so I'm going to add more. Gonna go in with the rest. So this was two, two 14.5 ounce cans of beef broth. I'm gonna work this in and it is going to simmer and thicken. And once it starts to gently simmer, you'll wanna season and adjust the salt to your preference. I'm gonna taste it for salt and if I need more salt and pepper, then I'm gonna add it. But this already smells amazing. So now I have my mixed vegetables. You can do peas and carrots if that's just what you prefer, but I have, this is a 12 ounce bag, I believe. A 12 ounce bag of frozen mixed vegetables going in. Going in. And at this point, I probably could turn off the heat. I have it on low right now, but we need to turn it off. So I'm just gonna give this a mix. Yeah, let's turn it off. And this is ready for us to put biscuits on top, but I'm gonna wait till the oven preheats. Then I'm gonna put my biscuits. I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so at this point, my oven is preheated, so I'm going to add my biscuits. These are eight large um, flaky biscuits. You can use what you've got in your fridge or what you can get your hands on. I prefer the flaky biscuits and I'll tell you why because I like to, to separate them in half. And now I'm gonna bring them right over and I'm just gonna start building the layer of biscuit dough or the biscuits on top of the pot pie. And you kind of just, I don't know if I'll be able to use all eight biscuits once I have them, but you just wanna cover the surface area of your beef, meat, veggie mixture in the gravy. And I'm just gonna go all the way around. Here I just have a little bit of melted butter and I'm gonna brush the tops of this with butter. Another thing sometimes I like to do is brush it with butter and add Parmesan cheese on top. But I think I'm just gonna go with buttered tops today to keep it simple. You could also grate like cheddar cheese on top to get a little crustiness on your biscuit, but this is what I'm doing today. And if you want a homemade biscuit recipe with this, I've done a recipe very similar to this. I called it steak and biscuits, but it's pretty much like a beef pot pie, but just elevated in flavors. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in my preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit until the biscuits are cooked and golden brown on top. I'm almost at the 25 minute mark, so I think I'm gonna remove it from the oven. The biscuits should be cooked at this point. Okay, ooh, hot, but delicious. Looks so good. Ooh. Oh yes, and you can see it kind of simmered and bubbled over here. But just as long as the biscuits are done and golden brown, then you're good. Now the biscuits that are touching, like the sauce, they're gonna be cooked almost like a dumpling. They're not gonna be crispy and fluffy like the top part. So you'll have to watch for that. You might think, oh, it's undercooked. No, well, it's gonna cook like a dumpling. But this looks so great. So I wanna share a little trick. So if you do find that your biscuits are beautifully golden brown on the top, but the bottom part is not cooked, here's what you can do. Place your biscuits over your largest burner and just turn it on for a little bit. 
you turn it on and let it cook at the bottom and let it simmer maybe for like five or ten minutes and that'll do the trick the the layer underneath touching the sauce will simmer and cook it like i stated earlier like a dumpling because it's not going to be crispy like the tops but that's a good way to ensure oops it's already simmering that it's going to be cooked underneath so here i have some leftover butter it's kind of cooled off and i'm just going to brush the tops again just lightly here i have a little bit of like dried parsley and then you just garnish the tops and that's it and you serve so good i hope you give this recipe a try i hope you like it and thanks for watching.